The Evil Within is a third-person survival horror game developed by Tango Gameworks and published by Bethesda, released in North America on October 14th of 2014. In The Evil Within, you take control of Crimson City's own police detective Sebastian Castellanos, who along with partners Joseph and Julie are investigating a gruesome mass murder at the Beacon Mental Hospital. After suddenly finding themselves into a seemingly different dimension, they are then separated and the horror begins. The Evil Within is a classic Shinji Mikami production. While the beginning of the game focuses a lot on horror and stealth, less than midway through the game takes a gigantic shift over to action, similar to that of RE4-6. through Early on you are weak and feeble, however as time goes on you are able to make upgrades at the hub area and find more ammo giving yourself a fighting chance. The level, mission, and enemy design in the Evil Within I found to be very refreshing. Enemies such as the Keeper are ones that have become iconic to me in such a short time. Areas such as the Carnival are unique and help add variety to the gameplay. At times the Evil Within can be a bit punishing. I played on survival difficulty, but there is one lower difficulty setting and a few more masochistic if survival didn't do it for you. The Evil Within was an ever-changing romp in the genre, with my main gripes being at times some of the chapters are too long, too action-oriented, and the story is a bit confusing. I'd say look it up on YouTube afterwards. And the PC port was kind of trash to be honest. All that being said, I give the Evil Within base game an 8 out of 10. Good enough atmosphere, mechanics, and variety to keep my interest peaked.